Hi there. I think I'm live. This is the first time I've done this, so I'm not really sure. Hopefully it's working. Um, this is just an experiment, really, basically to see what we feel like to do a, a live solve. Um, a bit like what I've done in my other videos. Um, but I just thought it would be good to maybe to, just to try this and maybe if it, if it if it's something people like then I can uh, make it a regular occurrence as well so just bear with me while I, I'm sure there'll be technical issues as we go along but just bear with me as I um, as I try this um, I'll just give it a minute and then I'll get started Just work my way through all this software here. Hi, I've got three viewers now. That's fantastic. Feel, feel free to say hi in the chat, just so I know where you are and we can interact a bit as well when we're going through the solve so basically what I'm what I'm planning on doing is going through the um the daily telegraphs crossword cryptic crossword from friday which i haven't haven't done yet um so similar to how i do the the straightforward videos that i that i do the ones that i load on the channel already um and um, we'll basically go through it clue by clue um and if you want to interact and you know ask about how i get to a particular answer or discuss the the clues themselves <clears throat> or your thoughts on the clues and I'd be delighted to, to to read your chats as well and see how that goes so like I say feel free to say hello if you're there and I'm gonna I'm just gonna open this now and I'll set up the windows so they're they're all looking right and then we can get going so how are we looking just give me a sec Just make sure this looks. I want to cover my window. Second. Okay, let's pull this up here. I'm just going to resize the window a sec. Make sure I'm not covering anything. Let's move me over here. Put me there, maybe. How is that? Yeah, we'll do it from there. Hopefully that makes sense. Right, I'll bring this window back down. So hopefully I'll get better at doing this. Um, but like I say, this is the first one. So, um, oh, good. I can see some chats now. Hello, Stephen, and hello, Hotspur Sam. Good evening. Welcome. <laughs> um, there may be a delay. I'm not sure how what sort of delay there is on the chat to um what i'm saying but i'm gonna i'm gonna kick this off now anyway and uh see where we get to um but i say feel free to chime in i can see the chat now so um as and when you know you want to say something just go for it um i think i'll start and see where we get to but it's great to have you have you around and have you on board right so um let's start with one across so here we have uh, 
there is no way he can act on broadcast 316. Um, this, I mean, just again, let's go through things. The definitions either at the beginning or the end. Um, and the word plays in there as well, obviously. So on this one, here we have broadcast. is a very, very common wordplay word. Um, it usually it's indicates an anagram, basically. So I'll look at the number of letters now. So we've got 10 letters here. So I think there's 10 letters in he can and act on. So this is going to be, this is going to mean there's no way. And it's an anagram of he can act on. Um, so I'll start with the first one. Maybe you've already got it by the time, by the time, uh, I don't know, like I say, I don't know how much of a delay there is. But uh, I'm going to type in the answer. This is not a chance. As you can see, anagram of he can act on. And it's broadcast as in it's, uh, it's an anagram. Cool. And it means there's no way. Not a chance. So hopefully there's there's more. Well, hopefully we've got a chance of completing this, uh, this actual crossword. <laughs> um so let's go on to one down. Um, in, in, invalid or invalid, somewhat ill, unable to rise. Uh, this one, again, I see a very common wordplay indicator. And if you've seen any of my short videos as well, I've mentioned this, I think, in one of those. And it's this word here, somewhat. So somewhat is indicating... A hidden word so that to me would imply that invalid or invalid is the um, is a definition and then we have a hidden word in ill unable to rise oh maybe actually rise is probably indicating to rise because of the down clue this is going to be a backwards written um, hidden word so it's going to be looking in the in the in the clue here. I can see null, which would mean invalid. So that's what I'm going to go for here for one down. Cool, nice start. It's nice to start with an anagram actually, because then you get plenty of starting letters for for the um, you know for the rest of the crossword. I see now I get seven viewers, so this is great. Thanks again if you've just joined. Brilliant. Say hi in the chat, please do. But great to know who's watching. Um, and just to reiterate, this is my first time doing this, so I'm a little bit nervous doing it, but uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get to the end. Cool. Right, let's try let's try two down then since we're since we're here with uh, with a T to start start us off. So it creates addiction to revolutionary taxi firm. Um so I always look at these clues. I look for right where can the definition be and where can the word play. And what I do is I look, I look basically at you know potential word play words, and then from there work backwards and see okay the definitions either at the beginning or the end of the clue. Then so here, um, when you have anything to do with um, position or some sort of displacement, um, I think that indicates word play. So we have revolutionary here um now that can mean a couple of things i've seen it mean red as in red i've also seen it mean in you know reverse uh, a word so we could be reversing two or we could be reversing a word for taxi maybe um when you see firm um that's very often coded as co so it's like abbreviated to co as in company so again, this is this is making me feel that the the wordplay is too revolutionary taxi firm maybe because of this T as well. Maybe this begins with T O. Um, and it means it creates addiction. So if I'm right, and that would mean firm is at the end of the clue, so C O is at the end. So now looking at that word, can you guess what it might be? Because I think I've got it. Um, it creates addiction. 
I'll give you a few seconds to maybe see if you can get it yourself. But I believe the answer is tobacco. So there we have, just to re go through the, the word play again, we have two. So literally we're making the we're making the, the word up from two. And then revolutionary taxi is cab backwards. So we get BAC. And then we have firm co. Yeah. I oh, see Stephen got tobacco. Well done, Stephen. Not sure if you got it before or after I where I am, but uh be under, good understanding. Maybe if you could write the time in, in the chat just so I can see what sort of a lag we've got. <laughs> that would be good. Right. Next up, we'll go for three down. Um, conservative parties desire. Okay, about the same time. Good. Nice one, Stephen. That's good to know. Um, so conservative parties desire. Right. What's this going to mean? Is it going to mean... I think, well, conservative, again, is one of those wordplay words you see a lot. It's usually abbreviated to C or or coded as Tory, that type of thing. So, And we've got a C here already in three down, so that making me feel that desire is the, is the actual definition here. Um, and we've got this apostrophe S, which is often like a link. So if you read it like conservative party is desire, then the wordplay is conservative party, and it's given us a word for desire. So I think this is a straight, fairly, you know, a constructing charade type clue. So we get the C for conservative. Now we need a word for party. Um, normally it's do. Um, covet, Stephen thinks. I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure where the of it is there. I think this might be crave, as in rave. Party is to rave with the conservative and the crave is the desire i think that would be um where i would get you know what i think the answer is there hopefully I'm, hopefully it's right right we're doing well on these down so let's keep going let's try the four down um summertime with american statesmen of yore um what is this all about Summer time with American statesman of yore. What could be the? Where's the wordplay? The only the only word that's given me any wordplay feeling here is American, which quite often you know becomes U.S. So it could be statesman of yore. What could summertime be? Um, to statesman of yore I'm thinking of old, older man or something that's not going to be right that doesn't give me any American there I think oh Hotspur Sam has got, is going there with Augustus yes that's correct well done because we get August for summertime and then we have um, US so let's see for American giving us Augustus which is uh, obviously the old uh, the old Caesars nice one well done Sam or Hotspur Sam brilliant let's try five down then European cutting jam and dairy product so where do you think the where do you think the word play is here I always look at these ing words because they tend to seem to imply some sort of uh, manipulation of something or other. So we could have European cutting jam, which would imply to me like a European, probably an e. Cutting as in it being inserted in a word for jam, and the whole thing means dairy product. Um, so and here's just a link between the wordplay and the the actual um, definition. So I think I've got this. I think this is cream. Yeah, does that make sense? Cool. Don't be shy and be in the chat if you like. I'd love to know where where everyone's based. That would be great. Yeah, Stephen, get an ever cream. Nice one. Cool. All right, we're making good progress here. 
shall we go let's try it like 10 across is shouting at me here um what could it be balance 51 cups on a chest question mark um so whenever i see numbers in a cryptic crossword that's pretty much always roman numerals um so it's a good idea to learn your roman numerals if you can um um so we have 51 in Roman numerals is L-I, I believe. And then cups on a chest would be a bra. Suppose we get Libra, the balance, the scales. Oh, Stephen got that. Brilliant. Well done, Stephen. Straight on there. <laughs> Great. But hopefully that makes sense there. So, with, you know, the definition was balance. And the reason they put the question mark is that, you know, it's a sort of a whimsical definition of bra, you know, cups on a chest. Right. Shall we go, let's go 11 across. And we're, we're making nice progress here. Like a lot of the times I would, if it's getting tricky, then I start, I go looking for, um, you know, the, the anagrams to help me out with uh, getting crossing letters and everything else. Oh, Connor Dean from Rome. Wow, your father was from Derry. Fantastic. Same as me. Same as me. Brilliant. Oh, great to have you on board. Right, so let's look at 11 across. The place for putting, or e.g. Othello, back in Actors Lounge. Um, I think I've got this. So... I read a place for putting there, but it's a place for potting. I see Hotspur Sam is in there with the answer. Well done. Um, yeah, a place for potting is a green. And then um, Othello back. So Othello was a moor. I'm writing, I'm writing it the wrong way around. So we need to write moor backwards, which gives us room, green room, which would be actor's lounge. Let's try, let's go six across, will we? Uh, six across is British left wingers talk vainly. So whenever I see British in a crossword, it's definitely in the word, it's usually always in the wordplay. And left wingers is always like something either read or to do with labor. Um, so that means probably talk vainly is the definition here. So we're looking for um, a f one letter, for obviously B, and then I reckon L A B. I think is blab. Wow! Yes, well done, Connor and Sam, both both in there. Fantastic. Okay, we're this is going well. I think well done us. <laughs> um, right, let's go seven down. Most relaxed ladies and gents maybe set out. So what's this going to be? Um, sometimes when we see, well, out usually indicates a, an anagram. Um, and the fact that it's most relaxed, that's given me this, we're looking at the superlative. Maybe I think this is probably, most relaxed is probably the definition here. Um, and set out can be est. So this definitely ends in est, I would say, because that would make sense with the most part. So now we're looking at this ladies and gents. So we have an L for ladies. It's ladies and gents, maybe. So I think this is another sort of whimsical definition, a bit like, you know, the bra as cups on a chest. So ladies and gents, another another word for that could be lose. I think this gives us loosest. It was quite, quite a nice clue. Ladies and gents as lose. I like that one. Nice one. Good. Yes, Stephen, you're in there. Well done. Um, right. Fantastic. Well, what, what part of Derry was your dad from, Connor? Be interested to know. Right, eight down. What puzzles provide live entertainment? Well, this could this clue is written for us <laughs> in a live stream. What puzzles provide live entertainment but no answer? Um, 
So this no answer business, that's definitely, um, this is definitely giving me wordplay. So what puzzles provide may, is probably the definition. Um, so live entertainment, but no answer. Now I'm looking at the clue itself. It begins with a B. Now, sometimes I always read it as live, but obviously it could be live. So this is going to be a B-E. Um, so this is amusement. I think it's entertainment would be amusement without the A. So but no answer, meaning take off A, gives us amusement. And that gives us amusement. What puzzles, puzzles provide? Not this puzzle, though. We're flying, aren't we? Very good. Uh, Sam was in there as well. Nice one, Sam. Limewood Street, Bogside. Nice one. I don't know which, uh, I don't know all the names of the streets in the Bogside at all, but uh, yeah, I'm from more sort of the north part near Sh Chantalo, Karen Hill direction. Good. Okay. 12 across is looking nice. Let's have a look at 12 across. Uh, might they do business in Cheshire or Lancashire? Question mark. So this is like a cryptic definition, I think. Um, this is something. Might they do business in Cheshire or Lancashire? Yeah, this is going to be cheese. This is cheese related, isn't it? So these are cheese. Oh, I can't spell. This is cheesemongers. Cheshire and Lancashire types of cheese, aren't they? So this is a, a sort of whimsical definition there. Very nice. I like that clue. Cool. Very good. Blessed are the very good Connor. <laughs> yeah, straight out of Life of Brian fan as well. I see. Nice one. Okay, let's try nine down. Caught kind of drum in finale. So again, definition and wordplay we're looking at. So I look at words like in indicate wordplay to me. Um, so we probably got a drum within. Finale. Now we've got an end here. I think we're probably within end. So a drum type could be snare. I think this is ensnared. So we have the whole clue meaning caught as a definition. Um, hope that makes sense. Yeah, kind of drum in finale, snared. Yeah, sounds good. Good. You know, Stephen's there as well. Stephen's also a dairy man. Fantastic. At least you'll understand what I'm saying. Right. 16 across. Not amateur side. Dropping American for now. 3-3. Three, three. Um, so dropping American is indicating to me the wordplay here. Um, side is nearly always teen. So if we took the, the A out of team, we get tame. Um, I think this means for now. Which is Latin, isn't it? Pro tem. Is it pro tempore? It means for now, I think. I think that's where that one is. So, again, that, that you know, the, the words ending in ing in the middle of the sentence usually are some sort of wordplay indicator, I think. That's where I, that's where I tend to go there. Right, well, we go 14 across. Um, mammoth and moose run awkwardly. Here we are, a classic uh, crossword, cryptic crossword clue, I think, especially this word, awkwardly. So this definitely is indicating an anagram. That would mean the definition then is at the other end. Um... So this means mammoth, and it's, and it's a def, it's an anagram of moose and run. So I'll give you a few seconds to see if you can work that out, and then I've I've worked it out. 
but I'm going to write it in a sec. So an anagram of moose and run is enormous. Cool. Good, we're making pretty good progress here with this crossword so far. Um, shall we try 13 down? 10 letters, okay. Made rules, member and I criticized. Um, so... Member and I criticized. So here is not a massive uh, any wordplay indicator here ma majorly to me. Sometimes member is MP. I is usually I, isn't it? In there. So th this is probably, I think this is, this is probably the wordplay here. Member and I criticized. And it means made rules. So member, in this case, I don't think member's MP then. I think member's leg. So I think this is leg I. And then criticized is slated. So leg I slated give us a legislated. Um, Happy with that, I think. Cool. Nice one, Stephen. You're in there. Good. Okay. Let's keep going. We're flying through this. 18 across. Batting. Prepared to bag 100 in cricket, say. So here we have another number. It's 100% going to be a C. So where is the definition and where is the um, wordplay? This say would tell me that the definition's at this end and probably it's a definition, let's say, well, an indication of, of something like cricket, cricket, but it's probably not, you know, because the whole clue's written about cricket as in, you know, cricket with wickets and stumps and all that stuff, this is definitely probably a cricket that's not that type of cricket. So batting is nearly always in, I would say. Um... Then we have prepared to bag um, 100. So that's going to be, so this is going to be insect. So it's 100, which is the C, inside, set, which means prepared. Yeah, do you see where that one is? So I love it when they, when they actually, it must be, I mean, I've never tried to actually compile it cryptic crossover must be so difficult I think but it must be quite satisfying when you get a clue that you can completely go off on one on a particular theme knowing that the answer has got nothing to do with it uh, it must be very uh, must get a lot of joy out of that I reckon cool shall we go for let's try 15 down we've got a couple of letters there 15 down French leader eats a starter from Italy, maybe this. Um, well, that I think this is fairly straightforward. This one, um, you know, French leader is Macron. It could obviously be an F, but we got the M and the C, so this is Macron. Macron eats A, and also starter from Italy is I. Um, and maybe this is basically referring back to the clue. So it's like an analyt e clue, isn't it? So this is macaroni. So sometimes you get these clues where the the definition and the wordplay are all sort of mixed up. Okay, I always want to try and explain an analyt clue. I, I get completely confused, so I try not to do it too often. <laughs> but definitely, so we get the French leader Macron eats A and I. And uh, it says this is maybe a starter from Italy. But you're right, Connor. I don't think it's uh, is macaroni is that Italian? It sounds Italian. Maybe that's where the question mark is. Um, maybe that's what the question marks for. Maybe it's in the sounds Italian, but it's basically food. Hmm. Cool. Twenty-two across. 
Museum operating system to display glass items. Um, six, seven. Who's got any thoughts here? Again, there's no obvious wordplay words here. So I think this is like a double definition. Um, so it's a six letter word we're looking for. So what could we think? If this is me, does it mean glass items maybe? I think if this is a museum, I'm trying to think of museums, this could be Louvre. I think this is Louvre windows, the windows being the operating system, I think. It makes like a Louvre window. Louvre windows. I can't remember what type of window a Louvre window is. Should know. You get blinds that are Louvre blind, blinds, don't you? But I'm not... Do you get a... Um, Louvre window, yeah, yeah, Louvre windows. I can't remember. I know, I know sash, but I can't think of what Louvre windows, what they look like exactly. I've definitely had a Louvre blinds, but anyway, I'm happy with that. I think that's that makes sense. We got the operating system as windows, and the museum is the Louvre. Cool. Okay. Um. Open them with a handle. You think, Connor? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, cause I've got Louvre blinds are the ones that are like rather than Venetian, which are across Louvre or, or like that, aren't they? They're vertical. Um, was that what Stephen's saying? Wooden slatted. Yeah, look at us. We're all experts on uh on windows. <laughs> um, brilliant. Okay, nice one. Let's try. Will we go nineteen down since we're staring at it? Say nothing. You said with aristocrat in quarantine. Right, where do you think the definition is here? We've got four, three. Um, now we got the with here. You said this is like a homophone, I think. So, I think it's saying nothing is shush. You said is a you. Literally a U. And then an aristocrat is a tough. So shut off. Meaning say nothing. To shut off. To shut off. I don't think I've ever actually used that phrase before. Shut off. You could shut down maybe. Say nothing. Maybe maybe shut off is in a more of a. If you shut someone off you stop them talking. In a way, you're telling them to say nothing. I think. Um, cool. Okay, so um, oh, of course, yeah. Oh, I'm completely, <laughs> completely like I went here for the wordplay, and then also try to make the definition out of the wordplay as well so quarantine is to shut off of course yeah absolutely ridiculous <laughs> yeah brilliant keep going connor you're doing well actually it's just a matter of uh understanding the you know where the definition is and where the wordplay is and then remembering where that is so you don't make a mess like i just did trying to work out what shut off meant <laughs> cool okay let's try Let's try 26 across. Uh, a prickly sort, shocked, right honorable ex-president. So, um, sort is often a anagram indicator, but then so is shocked. So, mm, and we've got T-O-N-M, which is N, right honorable. I think, so I think the definition here is a prickly sort. And we're, we've got an anagram of right honourable and then an ex-president. So what are we thinking? This is definitely Thorn. Yes, Connor. 
Now, what have we got next? X presidents, four letters. I'm thinking Bush. Thornbush is a prickly sort, I suppose. Um, yeah. Cool. Happy with that. Looks good to me. We'll try, let's try 28 across. Got two, uh, two nice letters there already. Poor character in Macbeth removing coat. And sometimes you you have to, I mean, I did do Macbeth at school. Does it get anything to do with Macbeth? Maybe. We're removing coat here. It could be removing the, the coat of Macbeth could be M and H, for example. But I think yes, I think everyone else is getting there as well. So we got Macduff, who was a Mac, who was a Macbeth, wasn't he? And we're taking the Mac off there. So coat as in Mac, as opposed to coat as in covering. And we get Duff meaning purr. Nice one. Well done, Connor and Stephen there. Good. We're doing well here, I think. Um, 23 down. Whiskey, that's vile, inspiring a novelist. I think we're looking for a name of a novelist here, beginning with W. Because whiskey is often, you know, from the NATO alphabet, it's going to be coded as W or abbreviated to W. Um, so this is the wordplay whiskey that's bio inspiring A. And based on the letters we got there, there's only one novelist I can think of, which is Wa. So we got U, uh, as in that's vile. Maybe inspiring A, does that mean the A is on top? I mean, I'm pretty confident Wa's right. Does inspiring A mean that it's uh, whiskey that's vile? Inspiring, does that mean it's within whiskey that's vile? Or does it mean it's on top of O? Oh, oh. Not sure. But it's definitely, I'm not sure the, the meaning of inspiring there in terms of uh, in terms of the wordplay. Maybe you can, if you have a, a thought on that, let me know. That would be good. But I'm pretty sure we've got war here. Um, right, where will we go next? Uh, 17 down, will we try that? Rocket may go in this meal without a sign of hesitation. Um, sign of hesitation is pretty much nearly always, especially in the, I, mean, I do a lot of telegraph crosswords, it's nearly always uh, ER. Let me just go back to this one. It could be, a, is it a link word? Could be, I suppose. I'm just wondering about that A because you're meant to be used. I'm wondering if that A is this A and uh is the vile. Um, Sam? So that's, that's my, I'm not sure about the unsparing bit. Because no, I suppose Wall is a novelist, but uh, that's vile. I don't know if A U G H means that's vile. I could see UGH as an you know an exclamation that you would make when when something's vile. So so cool. Anyway, let's we'll, we'll move on. Let's go. Let's go to the seventeen again. So rocket may go in this meal. So what I was saying there, um, sign of hesitation is nearly always er. I think I've had a few of those already tonight. So I'm going to put that here because that's going to be at the end. So that means rocket or rocket may go in this is the definition. So we've got meal without a sign, without a. Now, without is one of those words that can mean two things in these crosswords. It either means um, around the outside of Oh no, so it either means um yeah, around the outside of or it means like you take it or you remove something. Um being from Derry, I learnt the, the the meaning of without a lot because we have um we have a walled city and some of the streets are within the walls or without the walls. So you have Bishop Street without and Bishop Street within. So I always knew that without meant can mean outside of. 
So I think that's what this means here because I think I know this. This is launcher. So it's launch around A and then sign of hesitation ER. Um, gives us launcher. So a rocket may go in this, a launcher. Yeah. Cool. That makes sense. Hopefully so. Um, right. Let's try 20 across. We want to get this bottom corner to do now. Um, official language. So here we are. Two words. If you need a cryptic crosswords, you know, the rule is there's a definition at the beginning or the end of the clue, and then there's a wordplay that makes up the rest of the clue. And that's right in probably 90%, 95% of all the clues you're ever going to see. But when you see two words, there's another type of clue that is also exists, and that's called a double definition. So what a double definition is, is what it says on the 10, it's both words or a definition that can get you to the answer. So we're, we're looking for a word for an official and a word for language. Um, and like as Stephen has seen there, it's going to be Mandarin. How do you spell Mandarin? Is it M A? Is it A R? Is it Mandarin or Mandarin? Mandarin? No, Mandarin, isn't it? Mandarin? Yeah. Just have a little moment there. Got 10 viewers now. Hello. If you've just joined, welcome. As you can see, we're making great progress here in this crossword tonight. Um, please do say hi in the chat so I can say hi back. It would be great to know who you are and where you're from. That would be great. Or if you're a beginner or newbie or intermediate or whatever, a Christmas cryptic crosswords. Um, it would be, be great to understand and know you a bit better. Right, let's try 21 down. Like Bismarck, losing power like Tsar Nicholas, question mark. Lots of likes in this one. Was this written by like a, a Gen Z person, do you think? Um, like Bismarck, losing power like Tsar Nicholas. Um, given what we got here, I think the answer is Russian. Um, as in... So, Bismarck was Prussian. Bismarck was a Prussian. Prussian losing power. It means taking the P off. Basically, gives us Russian. And that's Tsar Nicholas was Russian. I think this is how we get to that answer. So, like Tsar Nicholas is, a, is sort of the definition there. And like Bismarck losing power is giving us the, uh, the wordplay. Yeah. Cool. Right, let's try 24 down. Expose Democrat with love for Trump. Nice clue there. Um, I say it must be great fun making these clues, I think. Um, expose Democrat with love for Trump. So Trump here is looking like the definition because we've got this for... And if you've seen some of my short videos and went on in previous videos, you know, four is one of these link words that indicates where the definition is. So you got the definition of wordplay normally and a clue. But sometimes you also have a link word between them. And usually everything after a four is the definition. Likewise, you also have from as another one. And usually everything before the from is um is the definition. <clears throat> so expose Democrat. Um, I think Connor's got in there. Well done, Connor. Um, expose Democrat would be to out is to expose. Let's try and write it correctly, Martin. Um, Democrat is it all pretty much abbreviated to a D, and then love, as in you know, in tennis, love is a zero or an O. So we're going to go with out do to mean to trump. And can you see there that the the compiler as well has put Trump in a capital letter just to throw you off the scent and make you think of Donald as opposed to 
naughty I do to trump the verb. Nice. Okay. Right, we've got three three clues left. Going well. Um twenty seven across. Don't stick a hero in a Victorian novel. Now, novel can indicate anagrams. But based on the five letters here, there's no way it's an anagram of Victorian. Um, so again, I think, just looking at this now, I think this is a do another double definition clue, actually. Um, we have don't stick and then we have a hero in Victorian novel so if you're playing um, what's it called pontoon or 21 if you don't stick what do you do you twist and twist is a hero in a Victorian novel as in Oliver <clears throat> cool yes yeah, Stephen got there as well nice one um, brilliant right two to go which, which way will we go shall we go 29 across and see what we get to um, kind of white car handy on travelling around now this is another classic anagram indicator when you see travelling around it's basically an anagram indicator um, so the letters are travelling around so <clears throat> We've got 10 letters to find here, so this is going to be an anagram of car handy on. And it means a kind of white. So, does anyone want to hazard a guess at the car handy on anagram? I think I've got this, so. Let's see if anyone wants to put it in the chat. What do you think? A kind of white. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Abdul Satar Chardonnay, correct. Well done, Abdul. And welcome. It's nice to to hear from you. And thanks for joining the thanks for joining the the uh, the stream. Fantastic. So we got Chardonnay. The kind of white. So now we're left with our last clue. Seems a shame to end the quiz, to end the puzzle, doesn't it? I've had really good fun doing this. So let's see what we got. Sides from Surrey receiving cheers and support. So, again, I'm going to repeat what I've said before. And these things you got cryptic crossword definition or clues are made up of definition one, a definition which indicates the answer, and then some sort of wordplay that also gets you to the answer. So. If you can work out where the word play is and then you can see the definition, you can pretty much work it out. So in this case, the word play is here and the definition is here. And is a uh, one of those link words again. So we've got sides from Surrey. What does that mean? We basically take the sides from Surrey. So we take the first letter and the last letter of Surrey. We'll do it here. Is this easier for you to see? So and then that's receiving cheers. So that's got a word for cheers, a short synonym for cheers inside it. So we get the sides for Surrey, our S and our Y. And a short word for cheers is ta. Ah, stay. And look at that. We solved the puzzle. Amazing. Let's go back and admire the completed puzzle. Um, so hopefully that makes made some sort of sense there. Um, sides from Surrey, the S and the Y receiving cheers, ta and that uh, gives us stay very good, well look at us that was great well done everyone <laughs> that was a um, really fun puzzle I think, you know in terms of difficulty I've definitely done more difficult ones on in the Telegraph, I, you know I've been doing them for a while now, probably last almost on a daily basis anyway for the last maybe four years or something like that um, and I always find I think Tuesday is probably the easiest day for me for some reason but Friday sometimes is difficult but today was not too bad it was quite nice um, and I, I get so much joy out of doing these and hopefully that was good fun for you as well um, 
and I'll definitely do some more because I like the you know being live and being able to interact with you as well it's fantastic so um long may this continue I'd say um and uh better know okay how much notice would you I mean I'll I'll probably the lives I'll probably stick to maybe Sundays evenings but um like it's literally it's just something that occurred to me to maybe try and do you on Thursday or Friday so I just thought I'll just go for it today and have a, like a soft lunch live and see what happens so um yeah I'll definitely I'll try and plan ahead and let you know okay I'll be doing a lot you know I'll give you a few days at least a few more days notice definitely and um you know, we'll we'll do some more of these I really enjoyed that I'm glad thanks for saying that was good fun I had good fun as well um definitely up for doing more of these and um you know I'll still do the other videos as well I'm I'm trying to do like a, a um a series of videos that go through cryptic crosswords and you know, break it down a little bit and have it like a course a guide to solving cryptic crosswords and work my way through that at the minute so hopefully I'll have that on the channel soon and I'll definitely plan on sort of doing the regular solve videos so maybe at the weekends I'll do a live and keep up the shorts as well um but yeah that was really good fun thanks very much for coming to the inaugural uh, live stream that was great even two people from Derry there unbelievable and uh, thanks to everyone else who watched um, thanks again to Husper Sam for your support so far in the channel like I say I've been doing the channel's literally one month and two days old now so um, onwards and upwards as they say and I'll, I'll keep doing more of these for definite but um, thanks very much for now that was great I'll see you soon I'm sure now, how do I end the chat? How do I end this stream? I have no idea. I'm going to have to look around now to see where that, where I do that. But um, bear with me while I do that. But in the meantime, I'll see you next time. Okay. See you later.